guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll learn how we can implement expandable recycler view in the previous video uh, we created one search view with the recycler view in case if you don't know how to create search view and recycler view you can just check out that video link is in the i button and also in the description box and if you know how to implement uh, the search view and the recycler view you can stay here and we will implement expandable recycler view in this video so this one is the recycler view that we created in the previous video and if i click on the kotlin you will see it it is expanding and if i click on it again it will collapse so let me open the kotlin again and now i'll click on html so you can see kotlin is collapsed and html is expanded so this is the functionality that we will be creating in this video and also i'll provide source code in the description box so if you have some errors you can check with that as well so let me just uh, minimize the visor also our uh, next few videos are based on the recycler view like in the next video we'll create nested recycler view and after that we will create a uh, expandable recycler view with nested recycler view and then in the next video we'll create a multi-view type recycler view as well so do subscribe for that and yeah that's it so this one is our activity main and main activity so the first step that we will do with this existing project is uh, i'll open the language data class which is our data class as you can see here we need to add few proper few properties in the previous video we just passed title and logo but now we have another parameter which is description so i'll write desk and this is in type of string and then the next parameter will be of boolean type and this will be where because we will be changing it so we'll give it name as is expandable and this will be of type boolean and we'll assign it value as false sorry cool so let me press alt control it l to format this code so by default we are initializing this is expandable as a false so now what we need to do in the main activity uh, where we are adding the data we need to add two more parameters as you can see cool so in the java let me add some values so in the java i'll paste one value i have copied it from the internet so yeah so let me just remove this next line cool so now i'll pause the video and i will add description in all of these items cool so i have added a description in all of this model or data classes so yeah cool so the next thing that we need to do uh, we need to modify our each item layout so i'll open the project view i'll go to the each item and i'll close the project view so in here we have one constraint layout okay this one so i'll create another constraint layout here so constraint layout this one i'll keep it match parent and wrap content and i'll give it an id so id will be constraint layout cool then i'll cut this part and i'll go down this text view i'll paste that constraint layout over here cool so we have uh, this card inside our constraint layout which is of id constraint layout so now i'll constraint this horizontally in parent and i can constraint it vertically in parent cool uh, okay i don't need this one so i'll remove it okay and yeah we got some padding over here we can remove this padding from here and we can paste the padding over here cool so now i'll create another text to uh, in this constraint layout which will, which will represent the description so i'll create one text view which will have width as 0 dp and height as a wrap content let me give it an id so id will be desk or we can say lang language desk cool then this will be below or top to bottom of 
constraint layout cool and we'll constraint its horizontal to the parent so horizontally in parent cool and then i'll assign some padding to it so padding of a dp let's just try to add some text here so i'll i'll write text i'll copy some text from here so let's just copy this java one i'll paste it over here cool so this looks fine to me now i'll just close this each item and now we need to work on the adapter class only so yep yeah we can make it private if it is suggesting so in the adapter class we just have one inner class which is view holder then we have this set filtered list method which we use for uh, searching then we have create view holder and bind view holder and then get item count so now in this video we need to work on bind view holder and this language view holder so first of all what i'll do i'll define our lang desk here lang desk or uh, language desk tv this will be up type text view we'll find its id with item view so find view id we don't need this so i dot id dot lang desk sorry we should be column cool then we'll have one constraint layout as well this will be up type constraint layout we'll find its id so r dot id dot constraint layout so now in the on bind view holder what we will do we'll set the language desk tv so text equals to m list of position and then lang desk or desk okay so yeah before that what we can do we can just create one language data variable from our m list so m list of position then we can just use that language data over here so language data i'll copy this i'll paste it over here i'll paste it over here cool then we'll create one boolean variable so i'll name it as is expandable cool and this will be of type boolean this will be equals to language data dot is expandable then we'll use this is is expandable variable to collapse or expand our view so for that what i'll write holder dot lang desk tv i'll i'll write dot visibility then i'll check if is expandable is true so if x if uh, is expandable is true then we'll write view dot visible else we'll write view dot gone cool so i'll press alt control l to format the code so now i'll add on click listener on our constraint layout so set on click listener and in this what i will do i'll change the language data value so language data is expandable i'll make it not equals to language data is expandable so as we defined uh, is expandable as where we can modify its value so then uh, we need to call one function which is notify item change and we need to pass the position so this function belongs to the recycle view adapter so this will uh, notify the adapter that some position some item has been changed on this position okay when user clicks on the constraint layout this will become true so how this line will work so let's say if okay at the first uh, this is expandable will be false when we launch our app so when clicks when user clicks on that constraint layout we are assigning the true value you can say because by default it will be false so we will assign true value to it and this line will make sense then cuz we are uh, if this is expandable is true then we are just uh, making visibility as visible of this language desk tv and let's say if user has already clicked on one item and then he clicks on it again this will be true then we are assigning false value to it so this view gone will get triggered okay so now uh, i'll try to run the app and we'll see how our app behaves now so our app has been installed and let me click on the kotlin so as you can see this is working if i click on it again cool but the condition is 
if i click on html this will also open and this will also open if i click on java this will also expand so we need to fix this and okay so in order to make a uh, only one item expandable in the list uh, we need to write some code now so i'll just minimize this so when you click on these uh, constraint layout we will call one method which will be is any item expanded expanded and i'll pass position here so position and we'll create that function over here private fun is any item expanded and we'll receive the position there so i'll write position int cool so we just need to search in this list if any item is expanded or not so for that we will write i'll create one temp variable and this will be equals to m list dot index of first index of first we'll use this uh, loop kind of thing and in here we'll just write it dot is expandable so this will return me the position or index of the item which is expanded okay which is which how this it as it ex, it dot expandable as a true after this we'll have one check which will be if temp value is greater than equals to zero and this temp is should not be equals to position okay so i'll explain you this in a minute and in here what we'll do we'll just write m list of add position temp dot is expandable will make it false and i'll call one method which will be notify item change and in this i'll pass temp and zero as a payload i'll explain this payload in a second but before that what we are doing in this condition is uh this will return me the value of any item which which has the x is expandable as a true then in this if condition we are checking if this value is greater than or equals to zero then if the item is not equals to position so whenever user clicks on this uh, constraint layout we will call this is item expanded function and then we will get to know if any any other item is expanded or not if it is expanded then we will make it false so this payload comes in situation when we override on bind view holder let me just open that let me just override on bind view holder and as you can see we get payloads over there let just uh, implement it cool so in here we get payloads as you can see here and in this on bind view holder we just get the holder and the position but we get one extra parameter here which is payloads we'll just match this payload if this one is equals to what we get in the pay payloads list if that is equals then we'll make our uh, then we'll make our uh, language desk text view as invisible or gone so so for that in this we will just write one condition that will check if the payloads is not empty it's not empty and payloads at position 0 is equals to 0 because we are passing 0 from here you can consider it as a constant so if we are passing it 0 from here we need to match it with 0 here as well cool then we'll have else to this and we'll cut this super call over here so in here we just need to call one function from holder which we will create now so in the view holder class this one we'll create one function which will be fun collapse collapse expanded view and in here we'll write holder or we will we'll just write lang disk tv visibility to view.con cool and we'll just call this function over here cool so if the payload is zero we will collapse the view of which item has been clicked okay so what will happen i guess you understand the flow but let me explain it again so this item when we click on this item is any item expanded will get called and in here we'll get the position of the 
uh, view which is expanded and then in the in this if we'll check if it's greater than zero or not and then we'll also check if it is not equals to position then we'll assign its uh, its expandable value as a false and then we call this notify item change with payload zero at this point this on bind view holder will get triggered and here it will have the condition that if the payloads are not empty and the value of it at position 0 is equals to 0 what we passed here if this is the case we will collapse the expanded view cool then uh, in here I just need to call I just need to pass the unit which is you can consider as a void in Java so this will not make any difference but we are passing nothing from here so now everything is done if I run the app this will work I guess so let's just click on this run and the app has been installed so now if I click on Java and now if I click on Kotlin so yeah cool this one is working and if I again click on Kotlin so this one is working right so let me just search for Python if this one is expanded let me just close this search view and I will scroll down let me hide the keyboard so Python is still expanded so cool this one is working I'll put the source code in the description box so if you have some errors you can check with that and if your errors doesn't solve you can just DM me on Instagram at codingstop070 so that's it for this video if you like the tutorial do subscribe and thank you for watching